You know, I think I had somehow... Well, then restart it. Yeah, I got it started. Somehow I must have touched something. Along with it yourself. Oh, don't worry about that one. What, you did that earlier? Nope. So, you, this is, uh, is this a second one you're doing because of, did the first one not record? Oh, I think the first one partially recorded is my thumb or something must have touched something that it shouldn't have. Okay, so, uh, I'm, we're making a cheesy hamburger helper from scratch, y'all. Yeah. I've already started the, this and you'd know that if somebody wouldn't hit the stop button. Yeah. But, uh, I got my milk, a lasagna noodles, cheese, ground beef that I've already started cooking and added oregano. Mm-hmm. And then, the Colby Jack cheese is going to go in here because it's going to be a cheesy lasagna hamburger helper. Yep. And yes, you can make it to any damn desire you want. Yeah. If you want a taco flavor, do that. Yeah. Who needs to have the store-bought stuff all the time? That, when you look at it, yeah, it may cost you up front to buy the stuff, but in the long run, wouldn't it be cheaper when you look at, you know, port when you portion it out? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to make sure when it came to the ham, the ground beef. Oh, I wanted to make sure that this what is I'm, the good stuff. Yeah. Five ninety nine a pound. It's eighty five percent lean. Yeah, not like the crap that you buy pre-packaged at. This came out of the butcher shop. Nope. Locally owned in this case. Yeah, literally. Yeah. I, well, it's local because it's local people, you know. Mm. But the last I heard, it might be owned from uh, people out of Pelican Rapids. Man, and that's, and that's, that's pretty local. Yeah, pretty local. An hour, hour and 15 minutes away. Yeah, I think That's most... local enough. Yeah, I think depending on your definition, and I say anything within a certain driving distance. Well, I'm just saying, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I would consider that pretty local in my mind. And I'm going to have to drain grease again before I add other ingredients. Yep. Now, you brown your burger, of course, you know, your hamburger. Yeah. Get that done before you add any of your other ingredients, naturally. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like I have to explain it, you know. Yeah, let's say if it needs explaining, then the nobody belongs in the kitchen. And what am I doing here? Oh. Just once I'd like to see if Uncle Chris was watching this. Because I could always tell him what you got cooking. He's a food pantry chef. Oh, yeah. YouTube food pantry chef. Yep. What you got cooking smells so good. You got a little theme song to this, though. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna drain the grease. And no, I don't use a lid, I just use a spatula and hope I don't do that. Yeah. Uh, Oh, well, I think Dad used to do that a little bit himself. Uh, you know how you get around it? Just pick it out. Yeah, and then just fry it a little extra. Now. Yeah. I know people are going to be like, oh, that's freaking gross. How could you? Well, considering it cooks in grease, right? Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. What the hell? I don't know. Oh, well, this is grease in here anyway. Yeah, that you just drained off. So then you just take it and fry it a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> Cook it up. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't care. A little four spice makes everything nice. Hey -o. So now what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my noodles here. Oodles and noodles. Noodly goodness. Yeah, and I think for what we're doing, we're not. I'd be surprised if we need the whole box of those. I'm not using the whole box. Yeah. Then you just break it up like so.
What do you think? Should I add a little more? Eh. Or do you think that's good enough? Maybe a slight bit more. I'll break a couple more. Yeah. Now you always make this to your liking, so if I'm doing something and nobody likes it, I'll twist it to your liking. Yeah. So now, what I'm gonna do is add, and I already broke this open, so just and I'm gonna let that cook a little. Yep. Add more as needed. Shouldn't have to, but oh, yeah. and that's probably more than what I should have, but eh, it'll cook, it'll cook. Yep. Now what I'm gonna do, oh, come here, Mutt. Hmm. Colby Jack cheese, sliced cheese from the butcher shop. Yep. Oh, I, I broke it up. It was the sliced cheese. Sourced from local farmers. I'm gonna take Mix it up. And yes, like you said, sourced from local farmers. Yes. If I was told correctly. Keep on talking if you want to film more you can. Yep. But if the guy was right about what he was hearing, farmers from southwestern Minnesota pretty much supply the stuff at that particular butcher shop. And now you just let it simmer until the noodles and all that get nice and mushy. Mmm. -hmm. You don't, I don't really know if you want them help them, babe, but... Meh. I'm gonna get in here. Help. I don't need noodles. No. Anymore. Step them back in the box. Uh, what do you think? Should we save the rest of the recording for the end re result? Well, we can do another video on that, too. Alright. And I do apologize for the flub. That's alright. <laughs> adios. Oh, are you gonna quit? I uh, know. <laughs> what, when you're saying adios, you're gonna hit the button? <laughs> Don't worry, bud. I just was testing you. Ooh. I think that cheese is starting to melt real good now. Yeah, hey, but the noodles aren't quite mm. ready. Yum. You know what? I'm going to add more cheese. Yeah, go for it, G Money. Just so you all know, that's the cheese from the butcher block. Yep, Colby Jack in this case. And they do put the slices here. So you just take it up. No, I'm not going to be an Elmer we'll get I'll see. Bam, bam, I, I can't bam. compete on his level, you know. As long as you're not like Guy Fieri. I don't know. He did. I like watching the show. and I did learn how to make a meat, uh, bacon wrap meatloaf because of that show. Aye, all right. I got and that. it did turn out to perfection. I got that from Triple D, a bacon wrap meatloaf. Yep. It turned out beautiful. I know I don't think he's going to pull it off again. Yeah. Uh, lightning never strikes in the same place twice, uh. Being that we're not at the same trailer, trailer maybe I could. Hmm. that was at the last trailer we lived at. Yeah. Dad couldn't believe you pulled it off. Well, if you want to stop this uh, video, uh. we can do a video on the end results here. All right. Because this is going to be a few. All right.